Good morning. Um, so if you don't remember in, oh man, this was many, many videos ago. Dad and I went and bought this bucket truck. Dad likes to say he gets carried away and starts clicking around on auctions. And before he knows it, he ends up buying something like this. So that's why we have a lot of the odds and ends of equipment that we have around our farm. So Grant and I are borrowing the bucket truck today and we are going to be fixing a door and replacing light bulbs, I guess, around our property. Um, but first we gotta drive it there. And I just have a feeling that that's going to be an adventure. So come along with us. yellow beauty. We uh, got her from the village of Chester here. Lots of uh, storage options here. Let's see what we got. How do you, oh here, you're pressing the button. Oh man, look at that. And obviously the bucket part of the bucket truck, there's two. Maybe I'll get to go up in one of those. Sounds kind of fun. I'm not like a huge fan of heights, but I don't know, it looks safe enough. Uh, look at this little light. Oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clean interior. I am oh, yeah, impressed. The roll up so nice. We're all square by Chevy. Look at that. Let's do a little dash view here. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We, uh, we have a passenger riding along with us. <laughs> Seems to be a, a small bird's nest up there. Relocating his home. <laughs> is there seatbelts in this thing? Um, Probably not. Hmm. Oh yeah, there is, right here. Safety first, everybody. Do we have to shoot? cruising down the road at about 55 miles an hour. Rides very smoothly, pretty quiet too. Uh, we've just built up quite a line of vehicles behind us. That's okay. Very impressed with how this thing runs and drives down the road at such a high speed. So Grant and I ditched the bucket truck for just a small bit because we had to go a little uh, over the road travel to go get a part. Um, to fix what we need to fix with the bucket truck. So as we're driving, I'm just uh, reading the newspaper here. I wanted to just show you here. <clears throat> Upper Big Blue NRD reporting sees small increase in average groundwater level. So if anyone was wondering if irrigating our crops is depleting the Oglala Aquifer, no it's not. So a very thoughtful viewer gifted Grant and I with a Casey's gift card. And so since we're getting the part, well, we got the part. And so Grant thought it'd be fun if we went in and we picked out a drink and a snack that we think the other person would like. So Grant's in there now, and then I'm gonna go in and pick out what I think he'd like. This is what I got Grant. Grant, you ready? Yeah. All right, I got him powdered donuts. Okay, I like those. Hopefully they're fresh. If they're fresh, even better. Okay, I got you Rolos. Okay, probably won't eat those now, but okay. I'll definitely have them at some point. And then I got Chewy Spree and- yeah, Lots of stuff. <laughs> cherry Pepsi. I just kept seeing stuff. I can't resist. <laughs> what did you give me? Okay, I got you a- uh, monster juice. Somebody actually sent us one of these in the mail. I got you donuts too. <laughs> I got you the big one. And it's double chocolate. We've been talking about donuts obviously yeah, a lot so. lately. And then I spent a little bit of the gift card. Um, I do not endorse gambling <laughs> like whatsoever. But you can win a free truck, okay? So I just couldn't resist. So I guess we'll see if I want a truck. <laughs> and the guy in line recommended we buy these 
We don't. I've never bought lottery tickets before. So neither have I, actually. You think we're gonna? Think we'll win? Maybe we. Maybe we'll be winners. Who knows? You scratch this? Oh yeah, you scratch it. So we just scratch them on camera. Sure. Okay. Uh, here I got coins somewhere here. No match. Hmm. I have yet to win anything. Not a single winner. What a waste of two dollars. I, I think I might have won two dollars. Let me know if I did. I have no idea how to read. Don't play the lottery, kids. That's the lesson in this. Hey, I mean, I think I might have made out clean, but. I think I lost. I uh, guess we're ready to go up now. Um, mine has water in it. Same. And you're just standing in it? Yeah, how much water is your Ugh. Alright, I'm not one much for heights, but Grant said we're ready to go. We got the outriggers all put up. I think that's what they're called. What's up? I gotta go flip a switch. Grant's gotta go flip a switch. This is disgusting. Alright, I'm ready. I'm holding on. with how high up in the air we have to go. And so, instead of a really full-fledged video, um, this is just a quick little snippet. Um, if you watched my last video, um, it's entitled The Newest Oldest Tractor on Our Farm, um, I was worried about a storm rolling in with hail, and I just wanted to let everyone know we did not get any hail at all. We got almost an inch of rain, which is so amazing. And that's why I really didn't have to do anything at the farm today, because we are crops are watered just enough we don't have to turn on any pivots so Grant and I got to spend the day together doing something kind of fun like this so not a really full-fledged video but Grant and I just love hanging out with each other and making videos for you guys is a great way for us to spend time together so appreciate awesome. you guys watching and yes one last plug at the end of the video oh we're matching oh, look at that. I didn't even notice um uh, now through Monday Memorial Day that's when the sale ends, 20% off everything on the website. And the last day that a portion of every sale goes to the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Link in description. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video.